A dream has come true. The big boy is back on the track. Und der Big Boy ist an mir vorbei gerauscht und die Erde, die bebte. The Big Boy passed me and the ground shook. The steam felt like the engine's hot breath and I came to realize how big and impressive this engine really is. In May 2019, the giant headed out on its maiden voyage. What an impressive sight. Es ist ein bisschen mehr und das hat, hat ganz stark mit der Maschine selbst zu tun und auch in welcher Art und Weise sie mich und auch andere This engine simply embodies greatness unlike any other machine and this is the reason why I have been spellbound for many years although I am an engineer myself and should see things from a more sober point of view this engine has occupied my mind ever since Der Big Boy an sich ist natürlich groß und mächtig und the big boy, while being massive, almost scarily big, also holds a certain kind of elegance. It wasn't easy to create a model worthy of this big prototype. However, Malkin already proved that they were up to the challenge when designing the coal-fired version. It was clear that the oil-fired engine had to be created as a model as well. Of course, there was much more than just the oil tender to consider when designing the model. I took many close-up shots of this engine, as I have a keen interest in steam engine technology in general. These photos clearly showed that the oil-fired engine is different in other ways as well, such as the color scheme and certain types of metal that were used. This documentation ultimately served as inspiration for Märklin. The pre-production model has already revealed that the big boy's impressive features were perfectly rendered in model scale. Ja, natürlich ist der Big Boy, den wir jetzt als Modell bringen für Märklin und Trix, ähm, eine andere Lok. This version of the Big Boy is a very special vehicle for Märklin and Trix. The oil tender was added and the pipe configuration had to be updated as well. Two generators were included on top of the boiler, while the ash box was removed in order to create a realistic representation of the oil-fired Big Boy. We also added an MFX Plus decoder with World of Operations mode. Und im Führerhaus im Vorbild ist auf dem Boden vom Führerstand die Locknummer eingelassen, also die 4014. As a further highlight, we've depicted the serial number 4014 at the bottom of the driver's cap, where it can also be found on the original engine. On its maiden voyage, the big boy traveled to different parts of the United States with passenger cars in tow. We recreated some of these cars based on our existing streamliner models. A legend has been given a new lease of life. This train and the big boy should not be missing from any model collection. We wish this friendly giant all the best for the future. Our next item for LGB has its roots in the US as well. Those who know the engine's prototype will know that half of the body is made of stainless steel. We chrome-plated the rear part of the model's body as we already did on the GE443. This makes this model a real standout item. As it is customary for US trains, we created two power units, Unit A and Unit B, and will offer a set of five matching steamliner cars from the Santa Fe Railroad. Overall, this model engine comes with an abundance of great features. The doors to the driver's cab can be opened and the many chrome-plated parts add to the model's beautiful overall design. Classic models from the 1960s enjoy great popularity. The French electric engine BB9200, in its classic green color scheme, will be offered with an updated interior including an MFX decoder. The model will be accompanied by a set of four matching cars from our 24cm tin series. They were painted in the traditional French design. Combined with the electric engine, these cars form a realistic historic train set. Both the engine and its cars will be offered in beautiful boxes in a retro design, reminiscing the original packaging of the first models. This model will be especially coveted among fans of the Swiss Gotthard Railroad. 
Unter dem Stichwort 100 Jahre elektrischer Betrieb am Gotthard. In time for the 100th anniversary of electric trains at the Gotthard Line, we continue our special series of models with the BE46. It will be based on a completely new design and built with brand new tooling. Natürlich, wie äh, das Köfferli entsprechend, sehr hochwertig gemacht. Like the previous Swiss model, this item will be a high quality product and will mostly comprise metal components. The motor is centrally mounted. There are numerous digital functions available, such as lighting in the driver's cab and the motor room. We also added great sound functions, as well as a world of operations decoder. Alles, was so ein sehr hochwertiges Modell braucht. The pantographs were nicely done as well. Für unser Modell haben wir einen Schnellzug vorgesehen. We will be offering a set of matching fast train cars for this engine. These cars depict historic cars from the 1920s and, when combined with the BE46, they form a brilliant realistic train set. This gorgeous BE46 model will be available for tricks as well. What a fantastic model! Series 95-0 of the German Reichsbahn is another fantastic new item for Madeleine and Tricks. Es waren erhebliche Veränderungen, denn äh, wir hatten fast alle Teile, mit Ausnahme des Fahrwerkes, noch einmal in Händen und hatten äh, diese auch neu zu entwickeln und zu überarbeiten. All parts, with the exception of the chassis, were newly developed and designed. The engine therefore comes with a new smoke box door, a new triple headlight and an updated pipe configuration. The pumps have also been updated. The driver's cab was redesigned and equipped with wind deflectors and the typical safety grid at the top. The coal tender was replaced by an oil tank. The model depicts the prototype as it looked in 1978. A controlled high-efficiency motor and flywheel were fitted inside the boiler. The MFX digital decoder provides an extensive range of light and sound functions. A set of matching silverlings is accompanying the engine. Together they form a typical train set as it used to operate between eastern and western Germany as part of a cross-border service. The engine, however, was used for freight trains as well. We are also very excited about this tender engine. Die Baureihe 78, äh, ehemalige T18. Series 78, formerly known as the T18, was actively used in the 1920s up to the early era four years. We will depict this engine with the triple boiler arrangement and the rectangular cabin roof. The era 4 version will be equipped with the typical Induzi control device at the right hand side. The model is primarily made of metal and will be made from completely new tooling. Technik als komplette Neukonstruktion. The CAD model already reveals what an excellent item this will be. The high efficiency motor is housed inside the boiler, while the decoder and speakers were cleverly fitted inside the driver's cab. The model is incredibly rich in detail. Almost every little pipe was mounted as a separate piece. A total of 542 pieces of Series 78 were put into service and did a marvelous job for many years. In 1974, the German Federal Railroad retired the last of its kind. Towards the end of their active years, these engines were based in Aalen, Rottweil and Tübingen in the southwest of Germany. They were mainly used as passenger trains and sometimes regional freight traffic. There's an unobstructed view through the driver's cab. The back of the boiler is rich in detail as well. Ultimately, this engine will be available in two different versions. The main difference between the ERA 3 and ERA 4 versions are the serial numbers as well as the fact that the ERA 3 models are of course missing the Induzi device. This steam engine is another gem amongst the range of new items. This is a massive and impressive steam engine with everything you could possibly wish for. This is a model of Series 44, which joins the product line as a coal-fired version. The engine body is primarily made of metal. It's also worth mentioning that... Schöne Ausstattung, Spielewelt-Decoder, 
Sound. Wir haben auch ein paar tolle Lichtfunktionen drin. The engine comes with a world of operations decoder, great sound and light functions, lighting inside the driver's cab as well as a realistic depiction of the firebox flicker. As a nice little innovation, this will also be the first model of a steam engine to feature a flicker in the ash box. This allows for even more realistic sceneries at the engine shed. And what about matching cars? What has Märklin come up with this time? Wir haben für die Baureihe 44 Kohle. For Series 44, we have created a nice set of standard boiler cars which nicely matched the engine's appearance in the 1960s. The boiler cars were beautifully designed and slightly weathered for a more realistic appearance. Each of the 12 cars will therefore look different from the others, with streaks of oil or rust showing on the outside. Every car also has its own road number. The set of cars can be used to form a wonderful block train. King's Steam makes another appearance with this impressive engine. The new Series 41 model with a coal tender and depicted as an early Era 4 version. The boiler cars mentioned earlier will be a perfect match for this engine as well. Of course, there are many more suitable cars available already. The model will be equipped with a newly designed high-efficiency boiler and will be primarily made for metal. Numerous small components along with the bar frame have been nicely depicted. An adjustable short coupler with kinematics connects the engine and its tender. The high-efficiency motor and flywheel were built into the boiler. Various operating modes and sound functions are provided by the MFX Plus decoder. The coal tender is a Sirius Type 22T34 model. The same engine is available for direct current operation as part of the Trix assortment. One of the most distinctive vehicles in Europe is the Class 66 diesel engine. Originally built for the British rail network, it can now be found on many other railroad lines. Naturally, it was only a matter of time until Maclean would pick up on this trend and include this engine in their range of products. Wir bringen das Modell als komplette Neukonstruktion weitgehend aus Metall. This model will be made from new tooling and primarily made from metal parts. The motor is centrally located and powers four axles. The item is also equipped with lighting in the cabin. For the first time, this model will also receive a smoke generator for a dynamic smoke output. The Macklin technicians had to get creative to make this function possible, and we can't wait to see the results. Thanks to the MFX Plus decoder, the World of Operations mode is available on this model. The engine comes with a great deal of separately mounted parts. It will be released in several different versions. We will release an HGK version of this model, a Linear's version of Belgium, a Rotterdam rail feeding version for the Netherlands, and finally a Norwegian cargo net version. 30 years of the Macklin dealer initiative are a worthy cause for celebrations. The anniversary model comes in shape of a Sirius 247 diesel engine with a specially designed livery evoking the classic V200 design. The model is primarily made of metal. It includes an MFX decoder and will be offered as a one-time limited series. Please note that the half-o model pictured here is only a pre-production item and does not represent the finished product. The lovely V-shaped design at the front already shows that once finished, this will be a truly beautiful engine. Here comes another diesel giant, an impressive new item for the Maclean 1 gauge range. This is a typical zinc die cast Maclean model. The model is heavy and therefore has excellent driving characteristics. The item will be equipped with a decoder providing 32 different functions. 
The fans located on the roof are fully functioning, and the chimneys emit smoke for a highly realistic appearance. The doors can be manually opened. We also fitted a current buffer for seamless and smooth operation, as this is an indispensable feature in model engines nowadays. The V320-001 used to be a bit of a loner. Its eventful and moving past provides ample inspiration for several model versions. There is the ERA 3 version, which is the V320 series 232. There will also be an HF Wiebe version, an Italian version, an HKB version and another version of the Teutoburg Forest Railroad. Let's move on to the LGB and another diesel engine. This three-axle diesel engine was built in Babelsberg in the 1950s. About 500 were built overall, with many being supplied to narrow-gauge railroads all over the world. Approximately 100 units still exist today and are mainly located in Saxony and owned by museum railroads. The model was made from completely new tooling and is fully equipped with a decoder and sound functions. It will be available shortly after the upcoming toy fair. The driver's cab was perfectly rendered on this model. The doors can be opened manually. All in all, this is a really great model. Even railroad service vehicles can be eye-catchers sometimes. This service railcar probably is one of the best equipped models of all. It comes with sound and light functions. The pantographs and service platform can be raised and lowered. This model really provides a staggering amount of options. The railcar will be accompanied by a matching car for overhead wire servicing. There are two realistically depicted cable drums located on board. This Safo model definitely is a fun addition to your existing model railroad stock. Bit by bit, the new ICE 4, the flagship of the Deutsche Bahn AG, has been assuming its role as the high class fast train it was designed to be. Its official series number is 412. This train is sure to become a standard item among the Macklin and Trix range of products. All cars will have a fully equipped interior. Different colored lighting will be available from factory as well. Special short couplers link the cars to each other providing an electrical connection throughout the train. A controlled high efficiency motor and flywheel were installed inside the restaurant car. All trucks are driven via carden shafts. Both pantographs can be manually raised and lowered. The new ICE is not only a technical masterpiece, but is also incredibly well designed. The Macklin model will be created in a scale of 1 to 95. Some end cars on the prototype train were equipped with a green stripe, which is meant to symbolize climate-friendly energy management. Das wollen wir natürlich im Modell auch nachvollziehen. Das heißt, wir werden eine weitere Ausführung des ICE 4 machen. Of course, this is something we wanted to depict on the model version as well. So we will release a second set, which will include the green stripes on the end cars. The newest version will be ICE 610, operating between Munich and Dortmund via Frankfurt. This will allow our customers to create and run two different trains with the help of the additional cars provided in the extended package. This train really shouldn't be missing on any modern layout. We will be offering a new Minitrix turntable based on the existing Z-scale design. In real life, this turntable has a length of 21 meters. This makes it suitable for many different types of locomotives. However, there are a few things to bear in mind. The determining factor is the wheelbase, not the length from buffer to buffer. With this in mind, the turntable is still suitable for most shorter tender locomotives or those which have the tender in tow, or locomotives mounted on trucks. The turntable comes with a matching engine shed made from cardboard. This is a fitting ensemble for many a new item. 
For this year, we focused on the 18613 in its late 1950s version. This means this model will have distinctive dual headlights and a coal tender lined with wooden boards. This was replaced by a steel plate on later versions. Overall, this is a very interesting version of this engine. It also comes with a longer Bavarian tender. This engine operated between Hof and Stuttgart via Nuremberg, but also further south towards Lindau. This classic engine received a boiler upgrade in 1955. Here comes the next steamer. This is a particularly interesting locomotive. It's one of my all-time favorites, and it has had a really fascinating past. For the first time, we will be releasing a model of the 0310 Reco as an oil-fired engine. This is a special road number. The model is actually called 030090, as it is depicting the engine as an ERA-3 vehicle. The prototype can still be admired in its current home the Railroad Museum in Schwerin. The locomotive has a really exciting history. In the 1980s, the GDR was short of money and planned to sell this engine. The local railroad workers decided to prevent this and hid the engine in a shed somewhere in the country. This fascinating backstory, as well as its beautiful appearance in model scale, make this little steam engine the perfect locomotive for end scale friends. Series 01, with its high-performance boiler, is considered one of the most beautiful steam engines ever built by the German Federal Railroad. No doubt, its model version in N-scale will find many admirers as well. For the first time in many years, a Series 01 model will be released with the updated boiler. For this purpose, we picked a special locomotive, the 01220. This was one of the first memorial locomotives in Germany. In 1969, it was set up in Treuchtlingen for the centenary celebrations. Treuchtlingen has always been an important railroad hub, and therefore there was plenty of reason in celebrating the 100th anniversary of railroads in that area. The model comes with many interesting features, such as lighting for the driver's cab and the chassis. Deadline for ordering the club model is the 29th of February 2020.